What are subcontraries? When we study the traditional square of opposition, we run into the concept of the subcontrary. Subcontraries are particular categorical claims. More specifically, subcontraries are the I proposition, some S are P, and the O proposition, some S are not P. Particular claims assert the existence of at least one member of the subject class as belonging to or being excluded from the predicate class. I am going to assume that you are already familiar with what a particular claim is, that you are already familiar with the VED diagram for the particular claims, and that you have been introduced to the notion that in Aristotelian or traditional logic, when you make an immediate inference, you are doing so either from the assumption or knowledge that your premise is true or your premise is false. As I mentioned earlier, subcontraries are particular propositions in categorical logic. They are specifically the I and O propositions. On the traditional square of opposition, a limited inference can be made between these two propositions. More specifically, if we know a particular proposition is false, its subcontrary must be true. It is not the case, however, that we can validly infer a subcontrary from a true particular. In other words, the truth value is undetermined when the particular claim, the inf or, sorry, when the particular claim or the premise is false. All right, so you're looking at um, a, a partial uh, articulation of what subcontrary inferences are uh, valid on the traditional square of opposition. You've got uh, your standard positioning. The I proposition is in the lower left-hand corner. The O proposition is in the lower right-hand corner. And you'll see that the arrow tells you when the I proposition is false, the O proposition must be true. The Venn diagram also gives you a visual representation of the log logical structure of each. Notice when the O proposition is false, the I proposition is true. So a particular yields a valid inference that is a necessary inference provided that the particular is false. When the particular is false, its subcontrary is true. Remember, subcontraries cannot be inferred on the modern square of opposition. Here are some examples. Read through them so you can see some conceptual examples rather than just straight visuals with the Venns of how a subcontrary is validly inferred when the particular or the premise is false. Now, we cannot make a valid inference when our premise or our particular claim is true. In other words, when our premise is true, when our particular claim is true, its subcontrary's truth value is undetermined. It may be true, it may be false, we just don't know. That's why the line that's drawn between the two does not have an arrow. So whether we're talking about the true I or what you're seeing now, the true O, the subcontrary is undetermined. Here are some examples. The examples in blue show us that a true I proposition does not force the O proposition to be true or false. And then the examples in green show you that the true O does not force the I proposition to be true or false. So that tells you that there is no determinate inference from a true particular to its subcontrary. I hope this tutorial on subcontraries is helpful to you as you study the traditional or Aristotelian square of opposition.